Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future. And to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also, please don't forget to subscribe. So let's have solution to equations in one unknown. Let's present our, I'll present the solution in a bit higher level because of our experiences with the preceding videos. If you want to anticipate the solution, there are problems here. There are nine problems here. And you may pause the video and answer the problems by your own. That should be the nice step, nice move on your part so that you will not just rely on the solutions. You have to level up also by, by solving the, solution, the problems here by your own. So, in this, if you're still not ready, then just look at the manner these problems are solved. So, LCD is AB. Multiply everything by AB. So, this becomes 3BX minus AX equals 4AB. 3BX minus AX equals 4AB. Factor out x in the left side, so x times quantity 3b minus a equals 4ab. So divide everything by 3b minus a, so therefore x is 4ab over 3b minus a. And for this solution to be valid, the denominator should not be 0, so the restriction is a should not be equal to 3b. Again, a is not equal to 3b. That's the restriction. So that's the value of x. Here, the LCD is 7a. Multiply everything by 7a. So the equation becomes a square x plus 14ac equals 7dx plus 14a. So again, a square x plus 14ac equals 7dx plus 14a. So transpose 7dx to the left, 14ac to the right. So a square x minus 7dx equals 14a minus 14ac. Since we cannot cancel something here, so we just leave the right side. At least we can... We should not factor out 14, just leave it at this. Factor out x, then this is x times quantity a squared minus 7d equals 14a minus 14ac. Finally, divide everything by a squared minus 7d, leaving in the left side x. So therefore, x is 14a minus 14ac over quantity a squared minus 7d. So 14a minus 14ac over a square minus 7d. So that's the value of x. Here the LCD is 6c square. Multiply everything by 6c square. Then distribute 6c square. The equation becomes 2. 6 over 3 is 2. So 2c cube x minus 3ac. 3ac then equals 12x minus 6c square so 2c cube x minus 3ac equals 12x minus 6c square transpose 12x to the left negative 3ac to the right so this becomes 2c cube x minus 12x equals 3ac minus 6c square since factor out x, 
no common factor in the constant so we cannot also cancel c even if we factor c out c in this right side so just leave it that way so x times quantity 2c cubed minus 12 equals 3ac minus 6c squared divide everything by 2c cubed minus 12 minus 12 and the final answer x is 3ac minus 6c squared all over 2c cubed minus 12 so 3ac minus 6c squared over 2c cubed minus 12 so we don't need to factor out c because anyway we cannot cancel out c here uh, transpose b m y to the left negative m to the right so this becomes a b y minus b m y equals m plus a m minus a rather factor out y factor out b y rather then we have b y times a minus m then let's make the right side negative of quantity a minus m so b y times a minus m equals negative quantity a minus m we can cancel out a minus m provided m is not equal to a or we are canceling out an, a factor that is not zero so b y equals negative one then divide everything by b so y is negative one over b here we factor out y then we have y times quantity 2b minus 3a then this is difference of two squares 2b minus 2b plus 3a and 2b minus 3a factor so we can cancel 2b minus 3a so y equals 2b plus 3a or 2b plus 3a or 3a plus 2b that's the same after we cancel out this factor common factor so this is 3z minus az equals 18 minus 2a square factor out z z times 3 minus a equals 2 quantity 9 minus a square 9 minus a square is difference of two squares so z times 3 minus a equals 2 times quantity 3 plus a times 3 minus a cancel out 3 minus a as shown so z equals 6 2 times 3 is 6 plus 2a or 2a plus 6 z is 2a plus 6 here factor out or transpose d square x to the left negative 5ab to the right so 25a square x minus d square x equals 5ab minus bd factor out x so x times quantity 25a square minus d square equals b times 5a minus d so this is difference of two squares factors are 5a plus d and 5a minus d then equals b times 5a minus d cancel 5a minus d so divide everything by 5a plus d so x is b over 5a plus d so that's it next transpose this to the left so 2adx minus 6acx equals negative of quantity uh, this is 9 negative 9c squared to the right negative d squared to the right so and negative of negative 6cd is positive 6cd this is perfect square trinomial factor out uh, common here is 2ax so 2ax times d minus 3c equals negative of quantity negative of 9c square minus 6cd plus d square remember this is a perfect square trinomial so 2ax times d minus c equals negative of quantity d minus 3c quantity square it's the same 3c minus d quantity square or d minus 3c quantity square cancel out d minus 3c there is still d minus 3c here and to make it positive distribute the negative sign so it is 3c minus d divided by 2a so x is 3c 
negative of negative 3c is positive 3c minus d over 2a or 2ax equals negative of quantity negative d minus 3c so finally x is 3c minus d over 2a then here factor out ay then transpose this to the right so ay times quantity c minus d equals c square minus d square then factor out by here for the last two terms or negative by then we have c then minus d so let's check negative bcy then positive bdy which is which are this so this is difference of two squares factor c plus dc minus d so ay times c minus d equals c plus dc minus d minus by c minus d c minus d is common to all terms so we can cancel out c minus d so we have ay equals c plus d minus by transpose negative by to the left ay plus by equals c plus d factor out y y times a plus b equals c plus d divide everything by a plus b so y is c plus d over a plus b so that's it for this video i hope that you were able to follow the explanation and solutions this is higher level that you need to recall factoring methods in order to simplify the solution to these equations in one variable